Hello everyone, it's Chris here from the Southwest Shooters and today we're looking at this beautiful little gun here. This is an AGT Vixen. It's a short version, it's in 177 and this along with the whole range of AGT guns are available from Crackshot. My good friends at Crackshot at Saver Close in Newton Abbott in Devon in the United Kingdom. Eric kindly let me use this gun for a video review demonstration and it didn't disappoint. I'll give you a very basic overview of the gun. If you're familiar with my channel, I don't go into like massive detail on the, the length and the weight of the gun. There's other places you can look for more detailed insights. This is more of a demonstration of what someone who is a beginner, okay shooter can do. So it's in 177. These are also available in 2.2. It has all the kind of appointments that you would expect from a modern air rifle in as much as it has an easy to use safety. It has a uh, 0.25 litre uh, carbon fibre bottle which is located near the shoulder. It has a massive sort of um, muffler, <laughs> although it's not technically called a muffler, on, on the barrel to make it nice and quiet. And it will come with all the associated tools that you would expect with an AGT gun, such as the little pen and the feeler gauge, two 15 shot magazines, the whip to attach to your uh, buddy bottle, the, the filler bottle and off you go. From doing my research on this gun, I was initially unfamiliar with where you would put in the fill probe and you actually put it in there to fill the gun. And it was looking at AAR, Andy's awesome YouTube channel. And I had to look at his video review of this gun to tell me where I would fill it. And from watching his video, he revealed that you can actually fill this up to 300 bar which eliminates the need for a um, pressure gauge on the bottle. You can just use it from here. That's really cool. I like that. The gun doesn't come with this scope camera, but what you're about to see is me using the scope camera in two different instances. One, that I am rested at 40 meters, and the other, I am using the gun offhand at 40 meters as well, right? We're going to look at the rested data first of all. So what you're about to see is me shooting the gun from just my normal bench, but you're just going to see the video evidence from the, the, the Hawk scope. It's not a Hawk. I'm just going to call it a scope. I've just forgotten the name of it from the scope. Okay. So you're going to see that at 40 meters. Then you're going to see me compare it to a 20 pence piece or 20 penny piece if you're pedantic and then I'll reveal what I will do next. Let's have a look at that now. We have the AGT Vixen at 40 meters. Hello. I'm out. This is the group that I just shot with the AGT Vixen at 40 meters. And we have the group there. And we have a 20 pence piece, 20 penny piece. And it is 
pretty much that 15 shot group is covered pretty much you can see that it's a little bit out there by the 20 pence piece but I think it will be fun to use the gun offhand to see what I can do offhand let's give that a try I'm happy with that that works for me I've used guns that are slightly more accurate but I might need to finesse the pellet choice a little bit I might need to work on my technique who knows but because this gun is so nice and light and pointable what I think it's really going to be good for is shooting offhand maybe in a field situation and we know what that means you're hunting I don't hunt Okay, I'm not against it, but I just don't do it. But what we can now look at is me attempting, at least, to use the gun offhand, stood up. This isn't pretty. I'll just be totally honest with you now. I am a little bit out of practice at doing this. My aim was to get five out of 15. I failed to do that, but I think you're going to see that I was close. Let's have a look at that data now, and then we'll summarize. Okay, this is going to be a tough one, I'm not going to lie. Let's see if I can get one. I'm going to have to shoot regular, I think, for this one. Oh my goodness. Hmm. I'm going to struggle here. Okay. Uh, what? Come on. What? Missed. Oh dear. Okay, that's one. Two, three, oops, oh dear, come on. Okay, that wasn't perfect, but if you're a better shot than me, which you probably will be, um, you're going to have some success with this gun shooting offhand. 40 meters was probably a little um, brazen for me, but I gave it a shot anyway, and you can see I got three of them. I'm going to upload that. It's windy. I'm stood up. It's 40 meters away. It's a long distance. Cool. 3 out of 15, uh, it's not really a wonderful average, um, but it's what I could do. I'm honest about it and I'm showing it to you. I've done better than that in the past. It is what it is. But if you're a better shot than me, which many of you profess that you are, then you'll be more than adequate with using this. Things that I really like about this gun, although it has a small air cylinder, you have a high shot count. I love that. Um, if I, I filled it up to just over 200 bar and I was getting over 100 shots. So from 200 bar to 100 bar, 100 shots. That's really good. 
Is there anything I don't like about the gun? I'm really, you know, being picky here. This can be switched around, the cocking arm. I would prefer if it was on the other side. I could have done that myself, but I'm not going to because it's not my gun. Um, it isn't, for me at least, quite as accurate, even after a barrel clean, as the Uragan 2. So I actually prefer the Uragan 2 to this. That's just personal preference for me. And that was in 2.2 as well, I remember that. So if it was my money, and it was me spending the money, I, I'm going to be totally honest with you here, I would buy the Uragan 2 rather than this. That's just my personal preference. I like the look of it more, I like the feel of it more, and for me it was more accurate. However, your mileage may vary. You might be looking for something different. All in all, for a shade over £1,400, it's a very high quality gun. However, I'm not going to pretend that that isn't a lot of money. It absolutely is. So you need to think about your purchases as always, right? However, if you're interested in this, along with the whole range of AGT guns, please give my friends at Crackshot in Newton Abbott at Sabre Close a call. They'll be more than happy to help you out with any questions you may have. It's now beginning to rain, so I'm going to take this in. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.